three sections. There's two large bodies of water at either end of the lake with a narrow area in between. The two large bodies of water are actually two billion year old rivers. And after billions of years of ice ages, the mountains on both sides that used to be taller than the Rocky Mountains, along with that narrow area in between the two rivers, was all worn down. And so 11,000 years ago, during the last ice age, it finally broke through that narrow area creating Lake George as we know it. The narrow area is now 12 miles long, one mile wide, with an average depth of 100 feet, and houses 130 of our 172 miles here on Lake George. The mountains are now one third of their original size, with the tallest one left being Black Mountain at 2,665 feet tall. area is pristine because there's no cars, no roads, no way in or out other than by boat. Leaving us with one of the most beautiful tracks of the lake anywhere in the world. It still looks exactly the same today as it did 11,000 years ago. The mountains are still tall enough from one end of the lake to the other to not allow any type of farmland or industry anywhere near Lake George. actually comes from underground streams itself, giving us one of the two cleanest lakes in the United States. It's the only one that ever challenges us. It's going to be Lake Tom. Lake George goes from 35 feet to 220 feet of depth. We're going to ride around in 100 feet of water all day. There's only one road that goes from one end of the lake to the other. It's here on your left. That's why your hotels, motels, and mansions will be over here. On the right-hand side of the boat, the road only goes up eight miles on the east side until it hits that mountain range up there. Forcing it to go all the way back to Glens Falls. To get up to the lake on the other side of that narrow area and what's called Hewlett's Landing, 22 miles from here. Takes you 45 miles out of your way with an extra hour and a half to drive down. Colonel William Conwell from the Patriot Army would stay behind after the Revolutionary War. And since we had had nine years of the French and Indian War, followed up by 10 years of the Revolutionary War, in this wilderness area where there was no homes, cars, roads, or anything, we started having all the tourists come up because you had some 30,000 soldiers fighting up here one time or another. As they left the area, they told everybody how beautiful it was and about all the battles they'd been in and all the souvenirs that were left behind. Starting the tourists coming up here right during the Revolutionary War. Since the soldiers were paid with land, they were not paid with money as the Americans had no money back then. Price, a brewery master would come up here, buying all. 
all the land from Lake George to the first down to the north on the west side. He would build a big mansion up on the mountain for himself.
that most beautiful section of lake anywhere in the world. It takes three and a half hours for me to get up there and back, so no, I can't do it. But you can drive 14 miles up to the lookout, taking pictures. There's 130 of our 172 islands up there. Or you can camp up there. There's no way to build a house. There's no roads, no cars, and it is considered forever wild. And it does look the same today as it did 11,000 years ago. The two islands up there is where we're going. That'll be our turn point. That's Canoe Island and Baby Canoe. The Canoe Island is owned by the Canoe Island Lodge. So they use that for their guests. The single island here to your right is Diamond Island. That was the Indian Peace Island long before the French or British or anybody else showed up. The five tribes of Indians in the area might not always get along. So the chief will go out to the island sending up smoke signals, inviting the rest of the chiefs to come out and talk power. The house here to your left with the chimneys would be Edward Chip. In 2004, the current owner, Dan Charles, found the Great Escape. Kramer retired from working in the railroad down in Fort Everett, came 
30 rooms in the main house, two of those being in law suites. Nine bedrooms, I'm sorry, 15 bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a ballroom for dancing, a living room, dining room, den, and has two kitchens, one for every day, and one for private parties. The guest house right there, 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. It still has 41 dock slips in the bay, along with a boathouse, a rope swing, a waterfall, and a beach. And it can all be yours for the mere price of $14,900,000. Now, Gene Black would own it for 20 years. He would sell it. The owner that has it has had it for 30 years. properties up for sale on the lake, including nine resorts, one of those being the D.B. Dean Resort over here with the beaches, the playground, and all the outdoors. We're going to come along this yellow mansion coming up on your left, built by a general, sits in the middle of the D.B. Dean Resort. The general built it with five stories, the upper four stories from the sleeping areas, and on the sleeping areas they had what we call sleeping porches. Back before air conditioning, when the house was 100 degrees and they had no air conditioning, no electricity, and no fans, you had sleeping porches. And the two hours after you went to bed at night, or wanted to go to bed at night, two hours after the sun went down, you could go out and lay down on the sleeping porch as Lake George is 69 degrees.
two islands here instead of one, and the smaller of the two is a picnic island. They come with the same amenities as does the camping one, except no boarded area. Still the docks based picnic table grill and outhouse for eight dollars a day. Now if you own a boat on Lake George, you're going to have 200 friends you've never heard of. They're going to call you up every day and ask if you want to go boating. If you're smart, you tell them yes. I want to have lunch, so I'm going to go up our breakfast. I'm going to go out and have breakfast. resorts on the east side of Lake George, and that's one of them. To my left, all the way up there by the Dome Island, you have that big white structure, that's the Sagamore Hotel, the largest hotel on Lake George, built in 1888, burned down three times, rebuilt the last time, 1928. It sits on its own island, and it's the only island with a bridge going out to today can cost you as much as a thousand dollars it is open to the public so if you want to go park in the parking lot go in and have something to eat they have three or four different restaurants in there including one right out on the lake they also have a golf course on the mountain you can enjoy now folks the bar is open and robin and tina are waiting your arrival and i'm going to take a break here for about five minutes or so as we're out here in no man's land, there's really nothing to talk about for a minute. So I'm going to let you just enjoy the view, listen to some music. If you put your mask on, you can go to the bar, get yourself something to drink. And I'll be back to you as soon as we get down to the shore here. So enjoy yourself. 